believe we're recording. All right, what we're going to do on the next uh, six videos or so, what I have as an idea is to have um, five videos covering the recent Jonathan Edwards trip that I was able to do. Um, it was a Monday through Friday trip that I went on. And so rather than try to make one big video showing um, you know, a couple hundred pictures, that could get pretty lengthy. So I think what would be best is if we make um, five videos, one covering each day, Monday through Friday, and then also we'll have this video, which is going to serve as a, an introduction type deal. Uh, a lot of times I ramble on longer than I should, so if this gets out of hand and uh, you don't really care to know much about me or, or my interest, uh, you can just skip on to uh, day number one of the, the Edwards tour, Edwards trip. Uh, so let me just give a, a brief introduction and then uh, try to keep it as short as possible and then probably not going to have time tonight but um, but the next video that I make will be the actual getting into some of these pictures and showing um, the, the different places in the in the life of Jonathan Edwards. Um, brief background uh, I'm part of a conservative uh, Christian denomination uh, independent denomination which uh, really uh, emphasizes the importance of evangelism and uh, uh, the Bible alone and um, everything we do is, is based on the Bible um, but theology um, especially theology from dead theologians that's not really emphasized a whole lot um, in, in the the circle, camp, group, whatever you want to call it. Well, because of that, like many people, um, Jonathan Edwards, the only thing I, I knew about that name was, number one, Sinners in the Hands of an Angry God, which for a long time was the number one downloaded sermon at sermonaudio.com for, for many years when I was a teenager and early 20s. And then uh, secondly, maybe... 10, maybe 10, 12 years ago or so, on a uh, New Year's Eve season, I remember reading uh, the resolutions of Jonathan Edwards. Uh, I remember printing those out and, and reading them. And actually, uh, that's what uh, this poster right here is, uh, the resolutions of Edwards. Um, well, you know, a decade ago, the, that was really the only thing that I knew about Mr. Jonathan. Well... I, I can't really pinpoint it, and I've tried, and I, and I can, but somewhere around 2012, 2013, um, started having a, a desire, a craving, an interest uh, for, um, you know, for teaching or in, in, in different things. Uh, tr try to keep the videos succinct as possible, so we'll just say that. Um, the name... Now, I know people have opinions about him, um, but if you're an Edwards person, you would probably admit that, uh, that John Piper has introduced a lot of people to Edwards that would not have known about him otherwise. Kind of a, a two-edged sword or, or double miracle, or whatever you want to call it on my end. The, the group, circle, camp, whatever that, that you, I would consider myself a part of, uh, John Piper would be a bad guy. Um, you know, he gets into stuff he shouldn't type deal. So the fact that I started reading John Piper uh, in and of itself was a, a pretty big deal. And then, um, not for people outside of me, but just, you know, personally. And then Piper introducing me to Edwards, that was a, another big deal. Well, um, the, the first thing, the first real, you know, lengthy work, other than, you know, maybe some quotes and the resolutions and um, maybe some portions of the Sinner Sermon, the, the first big thing that I read was Piper's book, God's Passion for His Glory, and what that book is, if you're not familiar with it, the first half of the book is Piper talking about Edwards, and then the last half of the book is Edwards' work on uh, a dissertation concerning the end for which God created the world. Basically, why did God make the world? And so it, I, I chuckle because uh, different times I'll listen to Edwards' podcast or YouTube videos and, 
interviews. There was one on the, the Gospel Coalition about a month or so ago. Uh, uh, Nancy Guthrie, I think her name is, and then two other guys. One of them does an Edwards podcast, I believe. Uh, they said, you know, if, if you're just getting into Edwards, you know, start with the sermons, start with uh, maybe the, the personal narrative or whatever, uh, but, you know, don't start with freedom of the will, don't start with why God created the world, don't start with those things. Uh, start off, you know, wading in the shallow water before you get into the deep water. 2012, 2013, I didn't know any better. Uh, all I knew is I had the book that I had and I was reading it, and man, although I would admit a lot of it was over my head and I could not understand. Um, Piper did a good job making it more understandable, the, the places that I could understand. Uh, so that was kind of my first entry into Edwards. I, I jumped in, you know, ocean deep when I probably should have started out in shallow waters, uh, but that's, that's the way things went. So it started with Piper's book on Edwards' work, Why God Made the World. And the, the last page of that book, the last closing paragraph of Edwards was like, j just brought that whole book together, the parts that, that I could comprehend. I'm like, you know, th this is a, a rich, deep taste that I was not used to. And I guess you could say I, w I was hooked from there. Um, some, some more time passed. I began to meet, read more things. Um, bought the Banner of Truth works that you see right here. Um, uh, there's uh, the Marsden biography, um, the uh, the Murray biography, another book uh, that a friend gave me, um, a, a book by Doug Sweeney that I read about Edwards, and so all these things, the, the small biographies and articles led to bigger things, and then the Marsden's biography and uh, the, the the Banner works, and then I was able to buy some Yale works of Edwards, and so it's just kind of like a, a snowball effect. Now, before we go any further, and, and you know, this this may help explain some things as we go through the pictures. Let me go ahead and admit um, that I'm not an an Edwards scholar by any means, and I'll also not admit, you know, I I, I would not consider myself a, a, a biblical scholar or a, a great theologian or anything like that. Um, I am a, a full time youth pastor. I went to a Bible college. After that because of various things. I didn't think seminary or anything like that was important. Took a break uh, from school for a while once I finished my, my bachelor's of theology degree. And and then, uh, uh, you know, as I began seeing the importance of, hey, I, I really do need to know what I believe. You know, uh, three points in a poem with a few Christian cliches isn't going to cut it these days. And so... Uh, so started seeing the, the need for, for actually, you know, instead of just writing a few things down on a piece of paper and, and giving a lesson, hey, I actually need to study. I actually need to prepare. And so, so several years ago, uh, began being enlightened to maybe a different way of doing things that I, that I was not used to. Well, um, as, as things went on, I have, have, uh, had a, a desire and a love and a hunger more for uh, maybe some, some deeper theological things than what I was brought up with, what I was taught in, in college and things. And, uh, so, you know, as the saying goes, one thing leads to another. Well, the desire to get to know Edwards and his writings uh, has not diminished. And while I may not be an Edwards theologian or Edwards scholar, looking at it from a layman's perspective, I could say, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm at least a fanboy. Uh, we could put it like that. If if I had probably a better, uh, was able to go and get more education in, in various fields, uh, I, I know that it would help me. So far, it's like the, the couple things I've tried to get into, every, every door has been, been slammed shut. Um, so don't know what the future will hold on those things. But at least for the, for the present moment, um, I'm not an Edwards expert. But I do know a little bit more than I used to. That's safe to say. Now, just because I'm not an Edwards expert does not mean that I can't enjoy, you know, the things I can comprehend and understand. Uh, you know, to give you an example, uh, back in the 90s, mid-90s, when the Chicago Bulls were in their heyday, uh, you know, you had Phil Jackson coaching, and then you had Jordan and Rodman and Pippen and uh, Longley and Kukoc and Harper and uh, Randy Brown, and, you know, you had all those guys for the Bulls. 
you I, at the time I knew what Jackson's triangle offense was. You've got the you got the three guys, and then you've got the two other people that that make up you know the Jackson's offense. Just because I did not understand everything about that offense, did not mean that hey I couldn't at least enjoy watching the Bulls win 72 games in one season. And and I kind of make that same parallel with this. I don't know much about Edwards and theology and, and other old dead Puritans as much as I would like. I definitely don't know as much as many other people on YouTube and, and who write books and, you know, the people who contributed to this book. I, I realize that, that my name will never be, uh, probably, I'm sure, never be at the front of a book like that. Um, but, you know, I, I would say that Edwards has helped my Christian life just as much as he has helped those guys. And we all have to start somewhere. So that's that's the boat I'm in. Um, so if I say anything incorrect about maybe some of Edwards' dates or years or locations or anything, uh, I welcome correction. Uh, although I hope it would be done uh, humbly, and I'll try to re I'll try to receive it uh, in in the right spirit. So I'm going to do my best in these next uh, five videos just to give you an overview about the, the life of Edwards, at least from what I was able to see on my Edwards trip. So what we're going to do is, uh, I believe that that's probably a good enough introduction. Not sure how many minutes that was, but I probably don't need to say much more than that right now. So uh, what we're going to have remaining is five, uh, five more videos. I don't think I'm going to get to it this evening. But uh, I'll try to try to get them done. So if you'll you'll subscribe to the channel, uh, save this playlist, um, keep coming back and checking on it. I will uh, will try to get these uploaded as as time allows. So uh, what I did it was a Monday through Friday. It was actually you know the the 500th uh, anniversary of the Reformation um, was uh, this this past October on a Tuesday I believe was the October the 31st 2017 500 years from when the Reformation uh, typically is dated, is starting. Well, I was able to spend the 500th anniversary of the Reformation uh, up north, right here, where um, in the in the land of, of Mr. Jonathan, um, I live down here uh, in South Carolina, and uh, through a, I'm going to call it a miracle, um, Southwest Airlines had a sale. And long story short, I was able, with no rewards, no points, or anything like that, just, just you know, as a first-time airplane ticket purchaser, um, was able to get a round-trip ticket from uh, Atlanta to Boston for sixty bucks, sixty-one dollars round trip, and 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 I, I never have flown on my own before, so to me that sounded too good to be true. So I asked somebody else. I said, you know, sixty dollars for a round-trip ticket from. Atlanta to Boston and, and back. I said, is that a good deal? And they're like, yeah, that's a, that's a good deal. So uh, as soon as I saw that, huge thanks to my wife. She's the one who did it and, and made this trip possible. I, I purchased it and uh, and, and booked it. Um, because of the sale being really quick and uh, the trip taking place two and a half weeks later, um, I was not able to plan out every second of my trip before I left. So at some points during the week, I was doing a lot of work uh, preparing for the next day. Um, but this book right here, let me recommend this before I close the introduction video. This book right here, if you're ever able to do your own Edwards trip, or if you just want to read the book and look at the pictures, um, this book right here was very, very, very helpful. Um, uh, I sent a I sent an email uh, just thanking thanking him personally for this book and, and how it helped me. And uh, I hope that he receives that, and hopefully it was a blessing to him. Um, but this this book really was a big help. Actually, just just laying out um, things and showing places and all. And so what he does is he goes through and talks about pretty much each city in the life of Edwards, each town or whatever. And he uh, he gives you a little a little key with uh, numbers and and guides and pictures of what you'll see when you get there. So. Um, trip or not, that would be a good place to see if you're interested in Edwards kind of from a fanboy perspective or whatever. If you're if you're not just content reading a few things, you want to see pictures and find out details and stuff like that, this would be this would be perfect. Can't recommend that enough. Um, and that was a, a, 
a huge trip on my a huge uh, help on my trip. If I had not had that book, um, the trip probably would not have covered as much as it did. So, uh, so look, let me close. So what did we did uh, is I got this book, and uh, my wife found the tickets, uh, found the ticket for me, and uh, she bought that. And then I was able to go on this trip. Um, I left on a Monday. I got to Boston Monday afternoon. And so Monday uh, late afternoon, early evening was spent in the, the Enfield, Connecticut area. And then um, what Edwards would have called East Windsor, Connecticut. So the place of the center's message and where he was born and where his parents um, were buried and his dad pastored where, where Edwards grew up. Um, that was day one. The second day was spent uh, pretty much all day at Stockbridge. Um, Stockbridge, where Edwards spent the last few years of his life. Um, day three was spent all day in Northampton, where Edwards was a pastor uh, for a little over 20 years. That was on Wednesday. On Thursday, uh, the majority, majority of Thursday was spent uh, traveling to get from uh, up near Stockbridge and Northampton area down to uh, Princeton University. So that was that was quite a quite a haul. Um, but Thursday was at Princeton, where Edwards uh, spent the last couple months of his life, and where he's buried. And then Friday uh, was spent for the most part all day at Yale University, seeing. Um, Edward's actual desk that he sat at, um, the Edward's portraits, uh, lunch with Mr. Minkema, which was a, a big blessing, and then um, the last part of the day at the Beinecke, um Rare Book and Manuscript Library, actually looking at Edward's own written documents, um, more than more than you could shake a stick at, as we'd say down here in the South. So, uh, so Monday, uh, Enfield area. Tuesday, Stockbridge, Wednesday, Northampton, Thursday, um, Princeton, and then uh, day five was at Yale. So that'll give you a, a little overview of what you can expect in the, in the next five videos. Uh, so let's stop there, and then um, as I'm able to, I will uh, begin recording um, five videos, and we'll go through the pictures that you see here on the left side of your screen. I'll point those out and maybe explain a little bit behind uh, many of the photos, probably not all, but uh, we'll scroll through, let you see the videos, and then give you an idea of a, a little bit background and maybe share a few stories that, that I picked up along the way. So uh, again, hope you'll subscribe to the channel, save the playlist, and, um, and uh, that'll hopefully keep you updated and you'll receive a notification when, um, when these additional videos are uploaded. All right, uh, take care. If you know any other Edwards fans who would enjoy this, I hope that you'll, uh, you'll let them know about it. Um, and I'll try to keep things as, as brief as possible. <laughs> I say that. I know I overdo it a lot. Um, but with this introductory video out of the way, um, videos 1 through 5, or actually 2 through 6, showing days 1 through 5, um, we can just dive right in, go through these photos, and give you hopefully a little bit of background information about the life of Jonathan Edwards. All right, take care, and we'll hopefully be making some more videos for you soon.